Hello and welcome to a brand spanking new series. So we're back with the Great War mod. There has been an update and I haven't actually played the update yet. And I thought I'd let's head back into it. Initially I didn't I wanted to do something else, but I thought why not try this one again? And we're gonna play as France. And you must say, oh France, that's highly boring. Uh yeah, I kinda agree with you. France isn't the most interesting country, I think. In, uh, you know, it's one of the more common countries played, that's what I kind of want to mean with it. Anyway, um, why France? Well, I've never really played as France at any point, at any time. I'm not joking, I never play as France and I thought maybe, 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 we could play as France, because, I don't know, might be an interesting nation. We could be actually the communist power if we wanted to. Um, but I'll let that up to you guys if you want to see me, you know, become a communist superpower with the Russians or something else, who knows. Um, well, we're gonna at least not build this one. Yeah, so let's get into it um, and let's get things built and set up. So what do we have? We've got a lot of inventory, we've got a couple of uh, cavalry divisions. Um, there we go. Those need to go, those need to go. Okay, we've got at least one large army. All right. Mountaineers can get the separate army. Let's make you green, let's make you red. Because I usually have them red and you are going to be gray. There we go, at least got them set up. Um... So we've also got two types of infantry, so let's take a look. Sorry I'm diving in real quick. I don't know really, I kind of just decided this last moment that I was going to be uh, this serious. Oh, we've got very good infantry if we want to. The Legion Atrangerie. And we've got, okay, we've got regular. So we could just flip, like, technically everybody to the Legion Atrangerie. And yes, we don't have the equipment for that, but we've got four years of war preparation. We've got colonial troops, which I don't really care much about. The gendarmerie, don't really care much about them. And the regular division, the infantry. I don't speak a word French, I can merely pretend I speak French. We've got some armored cars, which makes a lot more sense if we're going to flip you over to, I don't know, armored cars instead of uh, anything else. Okay, dokely. So we have a large army, and we are gonna need to set it up against our enemies. All right. So let's take the third one here. Half it, put it in there. Half it, and put it in there. That's actually not entirely what I have in mind, but this will do the trick for now. Now I have no real interest in going into Spain or anything along those lines, but I think this will. Do the trick technologically wise we're actually fairly all right um why do i have a research bonus i still don't know what i didn't expect anyway oh there it went uh let's see heavy industry we don't really need to recon just yet so we can go into engineering and well we are fairly modern holy crap I definitely did not expect any of that. Well, it seems France will be a superpower just yet. Um, well, then. Um, this is not 1914. We can get Marines. That really seems like a necessity right now. I need to research these, though, because um, we don't have them. So that's about a bit of a giveaway. Um, right, let's get the standardized stuffs going on. I'll run my standard industry for once, and I'm gonna play a little bit more of a standard game in for me. Um, I've been trying some new stuff here and there, but they haven't been really falling into uh, preference with me personally. Oh, okay, I don't think I see where the problem lies. We have no military factories, look, at all. That's a bit of a problem, I would say. Um, we go with thirds on those. Oh, we should actually go in thirds on this one as well. Uh, oh, it's three, three, two. Um, on twelve, it's four. Three, 
four. This is to be five. Four. Four. This is like the boring parts, but you know, that's kind of how I work. I plan this out ahead of time. There, I know there are people that only um, uh, just you know do this when the, it pops up uh, instead of just uh, doing this in bulk, but I still prefer to do this in bulk. Because I don't have to pay attention to it as much. And I can just switch around when I want, need some priority stuff being built. Uh, that's four. That's four. That's three. And that is four. Right. Um, now. Uh, ooh, I did not do you correctly then, I think. Uh, let's see. 16 divided by... Uh, Ah, oh, my brain is not working at all. 16 divided by 3 equals 5.3, so that is 665. There you go, 6. 6. No, 5. Um, that's a 4. These will be put down. Uh, you already have your 4. You've got a 3. Does that seem right? No. Two. So two here, two here, two here. Fifteen, that's five. Oh wait, you already have your five. Uh, four here. Alright, that seems to be our naval production. The rest of it will be military. And I don't care much about the African colonies currently, so... Uh, because we still need to build through all the a lot of the, sh of the other shit. So, uh, yep, let's just go with that. All right, mainland is more important than anything else. We need to get and, and we need to get a couple of. Uh, let's see, need a couple of naval bases set up. One here, one here. Twenty. Wow, naval bases can become big these days, I guess. Um, that will do. Right, that's the industry set up. We are going to need a lot of crap, but it seems to be missing some production, which is armored cars. Well, let's get the armored car in the production line, and we will start with the rest of it. And armored car can be slow production, I think. Well, we'll do like that, and then we'll max out all of these. There we go. Uh, modify the government. Shall we start off with enough to get some start? Right. Um... Let's see, Captain of Industry will do. Kind of forgot one thing though. This is not the setup that I want. It's the setup close to the setup. There we go. Start with that. Outdated equipment, that's the dreadnought. And then there's some insufficient resources. We just need a little bit of oil we can trade with the United States. There we go. Alright, now we have a couple of fleets that I need to take care of. Um, for now, I'll merge all of the fleets in one. I have. No real interest in organizing that as it is, but we have some work left to do. Right. I think that is all for now, except for a national focus, which is always a nice thing to start with. What do we have? There we go, 100 political power, bam. I'm gonna leave the political decision up to you guys. Um, so if you want to see where we gotta go down communism or not, that kinda determines our position in the entire war. Do we stick with the Russians? Uh, I'm just gonna go with regular. Or not. Um, training troops seems like a fairly redundant thing to do when most of our troops are actually without any resources or equipment. You know that you guys can actually probably do the defense here, so let's just redo this. There we go. It does kind of mean that I need mountaineers though, so let's just put them in the list. And to make things not as bad, I'm going to stick with a hundred. Uh, divisions, that's it, there we go, bam. 44, so that means I need these five here and I need one more. There we go. That should be 50-50. Yes, there we go. Good. All right. Uh, Mountaineers. Built them in right there and add them to that army immediately. Their priority is fairly low. There we go. Got everything set up. Very nice. 
All right, all the fleets have arrived, and we have retarded fleet composition. So let's get at least our submarines out. There we go, coastal submarines. We're never going to use them again, but let's get them a commander. I uh, probably should get them a commander at least. Um, let's see, coastal can be probably done the inland bits, so do that and you'll sail from Provence. Okay, get out of here. This is the... Take care of those two, I think we'll do. This is at sub one. And this is med sub one. There we go. I hope the names went through. No. Uh, TL sub one, there we go. All right, um, let's just half this. This leaves me two fleets of decent size. All right, um, this is Mad Navy one. And this is ATL Navy one. Four fleets, four commanders. Seems to do the trick. There we go. So, you patrol right here. I think I must have set my submarines on. There we go. Convoy raiding. You guys got convoy raiding as well. Um, Atlantic Navy, you'll hoist from where? Baton. France can go from... These can guys can go from Sherbrooke. Oh, no, this is Mediterranean, so you'll go from... Corsica. Seems like a fun harbor. Oh, Tunisia. That will work. So level 8 port, then we've got a Mediterranean navy, we can patrol the Mediterranean with. Something like that will work, and you hoist from Provence, you get yourself a commander. I think I've all got it set up right now. Um, we missed you. Well, I don't give a shit about you. Um, honestly. So, you'll join Atlantic Navy 1. Okay, you get the good guy and you get the crappier guy. There we go, because the naval codes are different. There we go. South African independence. Well, that's quick. Why don't we... Skip that one and protect this one. It protects most. It chooses that. It falls, that does that fall under our protection? It does. It changed a little bit in this interface. Oh my god, how many factories do you want it to have available in? Okay. Well, after that is done, we need some stockpiling here, and then I want to start building new fleets, but I don't know really what my fleets are. Uh, Compositions will look like just yet. Right, we do have an air force apparently. Let's look at political effort, get some more political power points. Anyway, we do have an air force. Both of them are shit. Okay. Good to know. Don't like zeppelins, don't want them. Well, they might be useful to cripple industry. I don't really see much use of them for now. Um, your scouts. Would you either? Can't wait for the moment that you can make old equipment obsolete. They're actually working on it. Human powered transport. Best invention ever. I guess. Let's see. Well. Like I said, we need to get some logistic companies so we can add it to more divisions. Because for now, it is it is implemented in our elite, but, um, yeah. Anyway, Korean Empire has been annexed by the Japanese. We've got a heavy industry. So we're already done on that one. Um, let's get signal companies and mechanical companies as well. The maintenance companies, because our guys are going to need it. All right. You guys need generals. Let's see what we've got. We have Joffrey. I don't like your name, so... Fosh, you'll be the hero. 
as well as Pétain. He would become president of France, I believe, at some point in his life. Was he the president of Vichy France? I don't know. I can't remember exactly. Anyway. No old guard for us. Um, oil production, as much as it humors me, I don't think it's going to be that useful just yet. And we've got maintenance companies. I might be forgetting something, but... Uh, Three dockyards already. So that's the dreadnought done. Let's build slow. Uh, okay, we'll just build a standard fleet that I do. Um, not entirely standard, but it will work. So. Let's armored cruisers come in. Might as well just use battle cruisers. And get a couple of dreadnoughts. So two, five. Alright, lots of armed cruisers will become battle cruisers. And let's see. Let's put you in Bordeaux. Oh, that's terrible. There we go. Let's see. Aquatine. There we go. Wish it would have the name of the city. Alright, new fleet being planned. We can modify our government. Um, let's see. Civilian community, national unity, democracy support, and political power gain. That's pretty useful early on. They're mostly early on. Industrial research. Hmm. Right. I need something to boost my production. I'm not expecting anything soon. So. Um. No, we're going to do a lot of artillery. Army experience, it will be nice. Let's see, we are going to do definitely a lot of artillery. First of all, this is going to be the first change we're going to make. And after that, we're going to add a little bit more infantry to it. So, this, this I like this standard army uh, system they got here. That works for me. We need 18 for it. We need a national focus. So, you guys let me know. Communism? Or democracy? Um, for now... This also kind of relies on that one. So, for now, we're not really going to be interested in that too much. African colonies gives me more industry, which is rather nice, but we'll focus on our own industrial effort first. Our standard industry tree will supervise there. We've got our field hospitals. So we can actually apply those to everything we got. This is ahead of time stuff. Let's get our artillery upgraded. I might want to work with heavy artillery. I've never really done it. So heavy artillery. What's the weight? The combat width is still three. The bonus is Compared to regular artillery, let's compare it. It's less supply use, it's also less piercing. No. Um, Revolution in Mexico, okay. Let's see. I've got the production up and running for it. We might be able to do this. It's a lot, in theory, heavy artillery will trump quite a lot. We need less infantry equipment. We lose HP, we lose organization, we lose recovery, we lose a lot of stuff. So our base stats go down, but our combat stats go up. How much? Is it worth it? 49. That is quite a lot. A breakthrough gets also a lot more, which is rather nice, to be honest. Hmm. For now, I don't have the production for it anyway, so let's not bother with it. Let's first get the army supply to begin with. But yes, we're gonna attempt to do something with heavy artillery. Sounds like fun. We gotta do that before the planes, preferably. Or anything else, so... There we go, industrial effort. And uh, this is later, good. Um, Infrastructure in Africa or Asia. I remember we actually have some lands in Asia. I should not should not forget about it, but it's kinda 
It's kind of a forgettable territory. We got some wood. We got our primary supply of tungsten from there, but I think that's about it. So it is in every single way not that vital to our cause, sadly enough. Let's get siege artillery. We can modify our government. Hmm. Weapons and equipment. There we go. That seems like a better, because we you most of the research you've done is weapons and equipment. Plus, that's like the primary stick that you're fighting with. Might as well just get that running right. Um, well, that's that. Let's get our land doctrines in place then. If we're going to join the Russians in communism... We are going to have to take on the Entente. Which has got to be an interesting sidestep. That means we need to get a navy at, at some place. Hmm. But this is all up to you guys. This is the uh, let's play together part of the let's play. You know, you guys can actually make decisions. I not always listen. Sometimes I do. I know it's been a while that I actually... Uh, the last three series, I believe, were influenced heavily by... Uh, last two, actually, you guys decided which mod we played or which game. So, well, between two choices. I wanna... For now, I wanna just do this one. You know, sometimes a man wants to do something else. Um, Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's get some decryption and encryption. Oh, you're done as well. Well, let's get those done. I have 15 here. Tanks and armor variants. So... I want to do some things differently. Let's go for heavy tanks. I never go heavy tanks. Never go heavy tanks, never go heavy artillery. Should be fun. Let's see, we need... Eh, technically... We're gonna do it like this. Let's see, four... Ah, Math is just not working for me. It's six, so let's go with five. And then we're gonna train. Hussars can actually. Uh, might keep them for. No, they're overstacked. It's cheaper to build a new one. There we go. Let's get a full complement of that. And at least get one more of this. No, not adding units. That's what I want to want. There we go. Green. Alright, now it's just the industry that we need to get everything up and running. North African colonial factories. So, we got four civilian factories from that. And then we get two military factories and an airbase. It's pretty nice. So these will really boost our industry. Now, I hope they fixed a the little book. Because apparently I've been reading up about it. There's a little book about Germany the leading forces. Or something along those lines. It's um, It ends up with having no armies at all. And Austro-Hungary, funnily enough, having to bear the weight. I hope that it's not going to be a problem. At all. Because that would be kind of a shame. Um, well, both of them are actually going to be important. So I might as well pick them up. I don't really... Otherwise we'd be going into doctrines. Not really into the doctrines just yet. Because we're playing France, never played France. I played France for, a, for an achievement, but that's about it. Um, I've got the um, kick Germany's ass before 1939 or something like that. With France, it's a bit of an achievement, but. Uh, Alright, sorry I've been going through events real quickly. We'd have these are fairly known for me. You can pause the video for the half second that some of them are on the screen. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so let's go down the other tree here. We're getting quite a few factories, though. Okay, that looks good. Let's just uh, plonk one, which has a lot of factories in it. There we go. We've got two sixes and a five. There we go. There we go, a lot of work ahead of us. There we go. Those submarines deserve the new attacks. I think that means that we are like good on research already. 
Uh, but I could still get these a couple of them here. The Mona Lisa has been stolen. Somebody just walked out with it. Told the um, people like I'm just taking it for a picture. Brilliant. All right, entrenching battalions, and well, might as well get some infantry supply and getting our recon companies better because I believe. Yes, we do use recon companies. They're really good. No templates for siege artillery. Oh well. It's not the worst. Queen didn't see Rukhet War on the product of China. Chinese Civil War. It happened. As usual. Still wonder if there is a proper. No. They're still working with a generic focus tree. As well as the Republic of China, I assume. Yes. Still is a really good focus tree. All right. Um, yeah, it's got to be just preparations for the war with Germany in a couple of years, and you guys can, you know, demand what you see. Are we going to war with the Germans? And stick with the Russians, and we support the Communists. Now, to do that, we need to... Uh, first, Communism needs to rise, and then we can get the international in focus, so... That's something interesting. Actually, there's something... Yes, these guys actually had their own focus tree. Still, might want to play with them at some point. So this seems like an interesting party. Let's see... Might as well get that resource efficiency. Trading away portions of it anyway. I need to actually take a look how to get rid of the disjointed government. That might be a something that later goes on. Hmm. Get some harbors and everything here. I think this one is, however, more. Suitable. Two military factories. Three military factories. Seems like a better use of our time. So, the Republic of China is usually one. I think good. The T is safe. And the South Pole has been reached. Oh well, what are we going to do with that? So, let's get our three military factories and keep pumping out a lot of stuff. So the world isn't barely shattering just yet. Such a shame. Hmm. This is something I could do regardless. Good to know. Right. Um, well, trenches are useful buildings, so... Might as well get them in the list. For now, they can only build up to one. But, uh, and I might be a bit cheeky in getting some early war done. Um, might be an opportunity for some early expansion. Marines are going to be needed. Hmm. Crap. To anybody who is not a filthy democrat. Uh, since everybody embraces democracies like it's the best thing there is. Alright, uh, let's get the heavy artillery in here. There we go, and it's gonna say, oh god, we need so much production. And all of a sudden, these, all these guys got their artillery. Uh, support artillery and. What else? What else? What else? Field hospitals. There we go. We need 13 more, and then we still need to fill them in. We're not there yet. But it looks like we've got our infantry equipment, so let's skimp on that one. It's a lot of support equipment is necessary. We are going to. We're good on cannons, we're going to need a lot of these cannons, though. So, and a lot of them. Couple of them, want some of them. 
you as well, but you're not that important, so let's get you down there. Well, they, they <laughs> it's important to have infantry guns, but for now we just need to get, you know, the fact that we need six and a half thousand support equipment and everything along those lines fixed. How am I getting so much manpower? Only 2k growth that I should have. Huh. I don't know what happens. Trench excavation, very nice. And... Well, we are running out of stuff to do. Oh, well, Navy Doctrine, I guess we can put that one in them. Tension is growing and we got the Moroccan crisis going on. So this is actually something we are involved in. Um, sort of. We have friendly relations with Morocco in this time period. We might need to be able to... We might need to intervene at some point. The big games, our marines are ready. Well, might as well get the air doctrine in the list. Then what else is left? Some more restriction. Okay, Spain becomes control of the Spanish Africa. German against... Cameroon concessions. We gain the rest of it. Which was hopefully Morocco was short-lived. Sad people. And sadly, we barely got anything out of it. Oh well. Can't have it all. Well, tension is rising though. We could go to early mobilization. If I had, let's see, soft attack and organization and division speed. Still think this is the better choice. Even though we're gonna be a bit more static, I always focus more on speed later on anyway. Oh, there we go. We'll just burst into flames. Beautiful little flames of war. What do you need? Support equipment. Slowly coming in. Good. Are we that good already? 5,000. Deployment only needs 400. I don't know where they got that from. Armament effort ready. And infrastructure. There we go. Up next. Saves me from building it. Already have our cannons, luckily enough. Glory to the Emperor. So there's a new Emperor on the throne of Japan. With oil drilling. We're mostly doing this because again, you know, the resource efficiency gain we get not has nothing much to do with oil, because we're not getting any. If we want to get oil, where the hell would I need to go? Interesting question. Oil seems to be rare. Very rare. There's a little bit of here in the Ottoman Empire. But it's going to be invaded actively by Italy. Well, we're in a period of time where Italy is actually capable of winning wars. Who would have thought? Otherwise, it's Iran. And of course, there's like a crack ton in the US. I don't really know how to get into the US just yet. Like, this entire area is just oil. Maybe some of Russia. Oil fields of the Ukraine. Uh, they've barely been discovered. But there's some here. Not enough. At least not enough for now. Um. Gains faction influence being in France, gains national spirit and democratic influence. So this would be nice if we go communist, because then we can influence them further down. That's pretty nice. For now, I'll just go and get some friendly opinions everywhere. Um, am I? I think I am. I think I've got everything else done. We could get. Ah, uh, you know, let's get the two naval dockyards first. Start keep building fleets. Can't have enough ships in the water. Oh my god, honest opinion. We've got enough of these, so... Let's build the rest of the fleet first. Right. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy where we're at. Uh, so... 
I'm gonna end the episode here. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna go for communism or are we gonna play historically and stay a democracy and just get some communist influence. And we need to know if we're gonna stick with our, with our Russian brethren that will rise up at some point or do we stay on our own and conquer the world like that. Anyway, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.